Hey guys, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I do handbag videos as well, but um, I kind of want to do cockatiel content too because I'm so excited. So this channel is just all over the place. <laughs> um, so this is going to be a cockatiel cage tour today, girly edition. And I wanted to show you some of the really cute things I was able to find on Amazon and AliExpress and different things like that to put in my cockatiel's cage um real quick disclaimer my cockatiel will not be in the cage 24 7. as you can see she has a play stand up there well she theoretically hopefully it's a she but who knows um it's just for sleeping purposes unsupervised purposes um left the house you know little things like that um it's not for all day 24 7. i work from in here um so if i'm in here then i'm going to she's going to be out <laughs> um so this part right here is a place stand so she can stand up here um i just have this oversized toy but i put it in her play area so this could last like for a cockatiel, I want to say this could probably last about like six months, maybe even more. Um, this seagrass mat right here that she can uh, chew on. And then I just have this like little purple pacifier toy or safety pin toy. Um, and then I have a incontinence pad laid down here. Um, Marlene McCohen, I watch her videos. She recommended human incontinence pads, so that's what I got. I have this rope here that I found on AliExpress. So I have a long one here, and then I have a short one on the outside. I have a seed net here. It did come with like a shield, but I thought it was ugly, so I'm not using it. So I got a seed net. Down here, um, I put the incontinence pad on top of the grate, so hopefully she doesn't chew, so that I could use this as storage. So, I just have some bird-related things um, underneath there. Getting into the inside of the cage, this is an overview here. I have a ledge. I figure when she's ready to come out, she would want to sit here and um, get ready to come out. So I provided a ledge or sometimes she can hang out there just by herself. We have a pink stainless steel bowl for veggies, a perch next to that. Then we have a pink crock and then that is like a treasure chest toy. Um, and then I also have a toilet paper roll down here. We have a perch that I think she's going to like to sleep on. Um, and then another toy back there. And then I have some cuddle bone in a cuddle bone holder. Then we have a swing. A pink swing also from AliExpress. Another perch with some yucca wood that she can chew on. It's a very easy to chew wood. Very soft. Um, a little dial perch. I hate dial perches, but this is just like a little one that I don't even think she'll use that much. So I just put it there for easy access to get to the food and water bowls. Here I have a little flower toy from Bonka's Bird Toys. And then over here I have a little um, Baby Steps toy that Marlene McCohen sells on her website from Superbird creations and then the only other thing that's in here is this thing I got a long time ago I used to have hamsters and it's like a little garland um, I got it from pets at home which is a UK store I ordered it online and um, I saved it <laughs> just for this cage so yes I have one of those in there as well and that is everything in her cage i have like a play stand up there for her another play stand up there and then another one by my desk so she definitely has plenty of areas to play outside of the cage and hang out outside of the cage as well so yes if you guys have any comments questions or concerns 
please let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.